These are called caramel shortbread squares, or also known as millionaire's shortbread. Hello everyone, first thing we're going to do is start off with the base. That's one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, one quarter cup of white granulated sugar, two-thirds of a cup of butter, softened to room temperature, and just blend those things together by hand or with an electric mixer until you get something that looks crumbly like this. Then line in a nine by nine inch baking dish with aluminum foil and grease the foil or spray it with cooking spray. Take that crumbly mixture, pour it into the bottom of the pan, and just pat it down until you get a nice cookie base. Then pop this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes until the edges are brown. And just set that aside. And now on to the caramel layer. That's a medium sized saucepan over medium heat. One can, 300 mils, 14 ounces sweetened condensed milk, quarter cup of brown sugar, teaspoon of vanilla, six tablespoons of butter, and a pinch of salt. Then add two tablespoons of golden corn syrup. And you're going to whisk this over medium heat until it begins to boil. You'll have to whisk this continuously because you'll end up with brown bits burning in the bottom of the pan if you don't. Cook this until that reaches 225 degrees Fahrenheit on a candy thermometer, about five minutes. When it reaches the right temperature, immediately pour this over top of your shortbread crust. Now the shortbread crust doesn't have to be cool, it can still be warm out of the oven, that's okay. Spread the caramel around until it's even, and then put it in the refrigerator and let it cool for about 20 minutes. While it's cooling, make some ganache. That's six ounces of chocolate, three tablespoons of milk or cream, Heat it in the microwave until it's nice and hot and stir it until the chocolate is smooth. Now, once your caramel has set so you can touch it and it doesn't stick to your fingers, you can spread the chocolate ganache over top, nice and even, and then pop it back in the refrigerator for a couple of hours until the ganache is set and, and it's ready to cut into squares. Pull it out of the pan using aluminum foil, peel the foil back, and then just slice it into nice small pieces. This is super rich and absolutely delicious. I actually did an unboxing of a product called Baker's Crate. And one of the products in the crate was a caramel shortbread, just like this one. And Max and I fell in love with it. And I knew that I had to try it on my channel. And I'm not disappointed. Uh, it has a really nice, very plain shortbread base, delicious, smooth caramel, and then a lovely chocolate ganache on top. You'll have to keep these in the refrigerator to keep them nice and firm. Uh, even after being refrigerated, however, the caramel is not hard. It's not super chewy. It stays nice and soft. I think you'll love these. Give them a try. Caramel is a great flavor and I have many desserts on my channel that use it. And these are one of my most favorite ones. These are the, my caramel swirl cookies. These are really good if you love that kind of a shortbread style cookie with caramel. If you want to see this recipe, go ahead and click right on your screen or look for the link in the description box below. I'll also provide links to my cookie playlist as well as my squares playlist. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.